Hello everyone. Let's try to solve the fourth problem of lead code by clue contest uh, 131, which is block placement queries. I have made the screencast of this contest also. You can check that out, and uh, I will recommend using earphones for using the for seeing the screencast because that could have some audio issues because I am not using any mics. So let's jump into this problem. Uh, block placement queries. Uh, so what is the problem? There exists an infinite uh, line with its origin zero and extending towards uh, the positive axis. You are given a 2D array query. So queries could be at of two types. First query is uh, of one comma x. So we are building an obstacle at distance x. For the type two queries, uh, queries i two comma x comma z. Uh, check if it is possible to place a block of size z anywhere in the range zero to x on the line such that the block entirely lies within the range 0 to x. So let's take the first example only. So uh, let's copy this example, uh, this case and write it here. Uh, okay. So uh, this means the first, uh, initially we have uh, infinite number line, right? Initially we have infinite number line from 0 to let's say 10 to the power 5, 0 to 10 to the power 5, we, fi we have infinite number line. and uh, at the first operation is type 1 operation so we are uh, placing a uh, obstacle at index 2 so we are placing a obstacle at index 2 so let's call it 1 let's call it 3 let's call it 4 5 and so on now the second type of operation is that this this is an obstacle right this is an obstacle second uh, in the second query he wants to place a block of size 3 in the range 0 to 3 so he wants to place a block of size 3 in the range 0 to 3 if there is if there is no obstacle then he can directly place it here right 0 to 3 but there is a obstacle lying at 2 so he can't place it so this is false now uh, he wants to place a block uh, uh, block of size 3 uh, for, uh, at 1 so this is also not possible till 1 we can't fit a block of size 3 uh, i think uh, the first parameter is uh, the first parameter is x so he wants to place a box uh, block uh, of size 1 3 so so we can place the uh, block here or here or here so this is possible so this is definitely true now he wants to place a block of size 2 uh, in the range 0 to 2 so this is also possible because we can uh, place the block here so it will be also true so answer will be false false true true so here you can see the answer is false true true i hope you get the example uh, what we are doing now uh, how we can approach this problem? For approaching this problem, let's look at the constants first because that will give us. Uh, so before looking at the constants, let's think about uh, the brute force solution. So the brute force solution for type. Uh, so we can think about type one query is just placing uh, an obstacle at that position. So we'll mark uh, uh, obstacle of uh, one, uh, i as one if the i is the type one operation. Okay. Now, when we are at type 2 operation, we will do some kind of order of n operation. We will check uh, that if zero, uh, we can place a box from 0 to i or not, or i to j or not, kind of that. So, this is kind of order of n uh, into q or order of n squared into q. So, let's say we have optimized our code and it is working in order of n or n into q. Uh, uh, order of n into q or order of q square. Uh, n is the number of type 2 queries. Let's consider that as q also. So order of q square, which is definitely not possible considering the constants. The const, uh, constants on queries is 15 into 10 to the power 4. So this is not possible. Uh, our boot for solution where we are doing order of 1 uh, at type 1 queries and order of q in type 2 queries, which is not possible. Now let's think about something better. So how we, I have solved the problem. Uh, so uh, what I am thinking is that uh, let's say initially we have an entire interval from 0 to 10 to the power 5. We have an entire interval from 0 to 10 to the 5, 5 initially. Okay, so let's call it observation. Now, let's say we want to uh, place a block of size is that the size, size of the block does not matter to us first. What we are trying to find, we are trying to find the maximum size interval uh, from 0 to x. So, here you can see that after placing a block of uh, obstacle at, uh, at 2, the maximum size interval from 0 to 2 is 2 and the maximum size interval from 0 to 3 is also 2. The, the maximum size interval from 0 to 3 is nothing but 0 to 2. If we take 0 to 5, the maximum size interval changes. The maximum size interval is nothing but 2 to 5. The size of the interval is 3. So, what we are trying to find? We will try to find what is the maximum size interval from uh, in the range 0 to x. Uh, let's call uh, the size of the uh, interval, let's say, L. 
now if uh, if if l is greater than equals to size then our answer will be true otherwise our answer will be false so size does not matter to us we will try to find the value of l and then we will compare uh, we will put this l greater than equals to sz in our answer array okay now how we can find the maximum size interval uh, in a range 0 to x so for that what i am trying to say is that initially we have a interval of 0 to 20 to 5 right now let's say we have we try to find the range uh, interval from 0 to x okay so uh, the interval in the range 0 to x is nothing but x okay so uh, l is x now let's say we have put an obstacle uh, let's say we have put an obstacle at index uh, y okay now uh, uh, after that we are trying to find uh, what is the maximum size interval from 0 to x so it could be uh, either 0 to y it could be either 0 to y or it could be from y to x okay it could be from 0 to y or it could be from y to x okay so uh, now how i have solved this problem i will tell you i am maintaining something like uh, some uh, thing like uh, at the let's say l to r is our range i am putting uh, at the rth position the length of the interval let's say length of the interval is let's say a uh, length so we are putting length in the this position r now let's say uh, we are separating the l to r interval into uh, two parts l to x and x to r okay so what will i do i will put uh, x minus l in the x position we will put x minus l in the uh, x position and we will change the value of r to nothing but uh, r minus x that's what i will do so uh, type one operation is changing uh, values of two indices changing the value at two indices what indices we are changing we are changing the x index and we are changing the uh, next index uh, the next to x okay initially next to x is 10 to the power 5 now after putting x and let's say we are trying to put uh, an obstacle at y the next of y will be x not 10 to the power 5 so we will be changing the value of y and we will be changing the value of x okay now what is the uh, we have changed the value uh, of x to x minus l and changing the value of uh, r to x minus r now let's say we are trying to find the maximum in the range 0 to x so we, we can query uh, the array uh, and we will get the maximum value okay so let's jump into the code you will understand it better how i am solving this okay uh, so let's uh, i am using two segment trees and i will explain uh, what is the use of these two these two segment trees six uh, one is for six sum so segmentary which operation is sum and another one is maximum so six sum segmentary will give us uh, sum in a specific range and seg max segmentary will give the max in a specific range so these are the two segmentaries the code of these two segmentaries are simple so i am not explaining the code so let's jump into our main code so we are initializing these two segmentaries and initially uh, all the segmentaries uh, like that all the segmentaries are from 0 to 20 or 5 and initially all the values are 0 but uh, all the values are initially zero. Okay. Now, if the if it is a type one query, we are trying to find uh, the sum in the range from uh, one to x. So this is a type one query. So we are trying to find the sum in the range x to one to x. Let's say uh, in the range one to x. Let's say in the range one to x, there is a uh, there are uh, there is an obstacle. The first obstacle is uh, this size of size two, and the second uh, interval is size x minus two. So according to our logic, we will put uh, 2 to the third index. So sum of the segment tree is nothing but 2 because there is only one value 2 here. Okay, I hope you get it. So uh, sum is the range from uh, the segment tree from 1 to x. Okay, now uh, the we will also maintain one set. Here I told you na, that uh, we have to find uh, change the value of x and what is next to x. That's why we are uh, maintaining one set. Initially, set will contain 10 to the power 5. Set is nothing but obstacles. Uh, initially, it is 10 to the power 5 only. We will consider that there is a obstacle at the last index. And when we are uh, doing one type on query, we will insert the position of x in the uh, set. Okay. So, we will find the next obstacle in the set. And we will update uh, q1 by q1 minus sum. Uh, I have explained here. We will do q1 minus sum. It is nothing but x minus l. And we'll update both uh, segmentary, uh, sum segmentary and max segmentary, and uh, we'll update the next 
next position by next minus x. We will update the next position by next minus x. Q1 is nothing but our x. Okay. And we will insert the position of the obstacle in the set. Okay. Now here comes our uh, type 2 operation when you have to find uh, what is the maximum size uh, uh, interval. Okay. So x is our Q1. When we, we are trying to find what is the maximum size interval in the range from 1 to x. So we are trying to find what is the maximum size interval from 1 to x. So there could be an interval of size 2, there could be some interval of size 3. Okay. So th this 2 in, uh, uh, identifies this interval 1 to 2 and this 3 identifies this interval 2 to 5. I hope you get it. Now there is one interval from 5 to x which is not getting uh, pointed out here. So what we can take, uh, the value of this is 2 and value of this is 2, 3. So we take sum of these values, 2 plus 3, 5. So this will cover the entire range, this range. Now we will take x minus 5 is our valid answer. So we will take the maximum value in this range. Okay. And we will also take x minus sum of all the values in the range. That will be our answer. So here, uh, max is the query, uh, the maximum uh, interval from 1 to x that is finishing in the till x. And sum is the uh, all the sum of the intervals from 1 to x. And uh, maxi could be max and x minus sum. Concept. This is the last interval. I hope you get it. Now we will push uh, true if maxi, the max interval size is greater than or equals to q2. Otherwise, we are pushing false. I hope you get it. I will also provide the link of the code in the description box. You can check that out. If you have any doubt in any part of the explanation, you can always ask in the comment section. And uh, I have already told that I have uploaded the screencast of the video in the description box. Uh, uh, in my YouTube channel, I will provide the link of the, the, the video in the description box. If you want to uh, see me solving this problem live, you can check that video. Uh, if you find this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.